What's going on YouTube? Hey, this is John with Roblox Custom Rods and today I'm going to show you um, basically how to uh, remove a decal. So um, I use this decal uh, by the manufacturer. I decided to use it. I really don't ever use them, um, but I decided to use it on this build. And basically what ended up happening was um, it's the decal is low quality. So I ended up getting some bad, um, you can see the lines and there's a couple bubbles that got in there and the bubble part is probably my fault, but um, anyways, I don't like it, so I want to take it off and I'm going to clean it up uh, as if it was never there. So I just wanted, you can see I've already um, got started. I re I've already removed a few pieces. So basically all I'm doing is I'm just coming in with a razor blade and I'm just trying to get below my epoxy. And I'm not using a super brand new um, sharp one right now just because... I don't want to go too deep, too quickly uh, with a real sharp razor blade. But what all I'm trying to do is get underneath um, where that decal uh, would be. So here you can see kind of the portions of that decal. So I want to take all of that stuff out. And so what I'm trying to do is get below that. And pop it right out. Now, how do I know? that I get down far enough when I, if I get below the decal and then if, um, when I touch the epoxy area right here, if it's tacky, then that means I got below, um, where the decal was at and I've taken that part off. So again, see right, right underneath the decal and just scrape it off. You can see it's all just coming right off. Now this could also be, you know, I'm doing this, you know, as part of a rod build, right? But this is something you could do if you were trying to refurbish a rod. Um, you know, let's say you had a, a classic glass rod uh, you know, an old classic and you're trying to rebuild it and re-thread and everything, this is easy. Um, you know, there's ways to get a lot of the epoxy and decals off. You know, you can always, um, some people say that you can burn, um, which works. You know, you set the epoxy on fire and then once it melts, you just wipe it off. Um, it's pretty quick that way to do it. Uh, but when you're trying to just work little parts, like, you know, it'd be one thing if you're trying to take the whole, um, the set of epoxy and stuff off, that's one thing. But here where I'm just trying to take a decal out, I feel like the razor blade is easier. The second part is, is heat can ruin the materials inside um, that the rod is comprised of, right? So too much heat um, can ruin it and cause the basically rod to, um, to fail on you. So again, I'm just going in here and I'm just trying to get in there where it's a razor blade will work nice and easy right under that decal. Yeah, and this is all tacky. So I got right underneath that decal and I want to take everything out that looks like it was a, a de uh, like a sticker, you know. I don't want any of the edges to be seen.
All right. And like I said, it's a little, little tedious. There's a line right there I want to come out. You can see that pulls right up out of there, right? So it's a little, like I said, it's a little tedious. It's a little slow going, um, but it's about getting, I don't want any of that imperfection in there, any of that line. And again, not trying to go too deep. Remember, I'm not, I'm not trying to get underneath here and get into that thread work. That's really it. And then I'm just going to come back um, with some really fine sandpaper, some 220, right? Very uh, flexible. And then basically I'm just going to come back and then I'm going to start to sand this down um, and get a nice smooth finish. Okay. All right. I'll be, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So you can see where I'm starting to sand it down and it's coming out nice and smooth. And see where this dark line is right here or where some of these um, dark patches are right here that's still where some of the adhesive is from the decal and so that will all uh, come up here as i continue to sand and i'm just kind of be smooth now you can see like i have a decal here and i've sanded over that and that's totally fine that decal is below a few layers of epoxy um, and so i'm just going right over that and i'm just trying to smooth this out and clean up where i was in there with that razor blade all right i'll be right back okay so you can see where it's coming out pretty good. Um, I still have to work this line right here. That would be where the edge of the decal was at, right? Same thing down here. I've got a little, little area I still got to work with that with sanding out, but you can see here it's coming out pretty good, getting all of that uh, edge of that decal out. All right, we'll be back. All right, YouTube, so you can see here, I sanded down the entire decal. All right, got it all out of there. Um, so all that decal is gone right off of this spot here. Uh, except for that right there, that little spot. So I just need to clean this up just a little bit more right here. Um, but you can see I went through with that uh, sandpaper, that razor blade, cut it all out, and I came back with the sandpaper and sanded that all down. And then when I come back over the epoxy, uh, it'll look uh, look like new. So I'll just wipe it down uh, with dry cloth, wipe it all off, um, make sure I got all of the uh, the, the, the sanded material off of the uh, off the blank. And I'll go back and then um, I will lay a coat of epoxy on the top of that. All right. All right, YouTube, hey, welcome back. Hey, so um, this is the last portion uh, of that um, that sticker removal that we did. Um, so I, I, I had a decal on this uh, on this rod blank or on this rod, excuse me. Um, I didn't like the way it worked. Uh, so I, I basically went out and we took it out. Um, sanded down the blank with uh, some really fine grit sandpaper. And now we're gonna go back over uh, and we're gonna lay some epoxy over the top of this. So you can see here where you know, I've already laid epoxy here. I haven't sanded over that. Um, and then, but now you can see where I did go through and sand that down. So now we're gonna go over, we're gonna lay the epoxy back down over the top of this. Um, and it's pretty easy, just like anything else. Um, you know, any other time we're, we're laying epoxy, All right, you can see, you know, where I went over, where I sanded down the blank with that 220 uh, grit sandpaper. You can see how that just blends right back in with that rod. All 
right? So you can see how we sanded that down. And then it looks like we never even had to sand it down before. And once I get this on, we'll get some heat on here and help this help help level out this epoxy. It's like that decal was, that decal was never there. So all we're doing again, just laying this epoxy back down uh, over where we sanded with that fine grit 220 sandpaper. All right, we're just gonna let that rotate around a little bit. We'll just put a little heat to it, take out any of those little air bubbles. And we're just gonna let that rotate, and that epoxy will level right back out, uh, and then we'll be good to go. So again, you can see, um, you know, in this video, you can you can use 220 grit sandpaper, that really fine sandpaper, and take out blemishes in your epoxy work. Um, or even go down to removing a decal like we did in this video um, and then coming out, sanding that out and then building back up the epoxy layers on it. So you can do it, right? Uh, it just takes time and really what it takes is patience. Um, so hey, I hope this helps. Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments block down below. And uh, hey, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like button uh, and, and let, me know, let me know that you like what you're seeing and the videos that I'm producing. And if you have an idea, if uh, for a video, something that you want to see, hey, again, leave a comment down there. Let me know what you want to see uh, and we'll make a video for it. All right. Until next time. Take care.